Yo, 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 another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off, I am on a caviar delivery. So check this out, this last caviar delivery that I just went on. Went picked the food up. Uh, I actually picked it up from the same grocery store that I was supposed to pick up the Task Rabbit turkey from yesterday. So I went there, picked the food up, jumped in the car, drove it over, and it was the type of location where you basically, you have to drive. Like you, you have to like get on the freeway and all that. So once I got there, you know, I knocked on the door, and this was an office, by the way. Knocked on the door, this guy came to the door, and I said, I gave the customer's name and gave him the order, and he was like, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. I turned around, walked back to the car. By the time I got back to the car, the same guy ran up and said, hey, 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 we don't have this order, we don't have this order, what are you doing here, who are you? And I'm just like, I'm just kinda like like stunned, like what do you mean, who am I? Like, I, I'm the delivery guy, like can't you see, like I just dropped this order off? So the guy ended up giving me the order back, was like, no, this person doesn't work here, you, you went to the wrong place, blah, blah, blah. So I text Caviar and told Caviar the same thing, like, customer is just like who are you customer took the order so what do i do so i've been texting caviar and i'm trying to figure out what caviar wants me to do meanwhile i'm picking up the next caviar order and uh i guess i still got this first order sitting here chilling in the car pretty sure i can find someone to give it to make their day right it's like a caesar salad and also a big fat turkey sandwich really really big turkey sandwich yo but anyway, let's get this video started. Okay, done with the deliveries for now. So I'm on another TaskRabbit gig right now. And guys, it just really, really annoys me when, when sometimes people can make something sound so simple or sometimes it really annoys me when something is so simple and it could be simple, but people make it just not simple. For example, I'm just gonna use this for an example. Okay, meet me at Chase Bank. So that would be the easiest thing to say, right? But instead of, instead of saying, meet me at Chase Bank, I would say like, meet me at this intersection, at this corner, across the street from Rite Aid, and across the street from Starbucks. I want you to meet me there. Well, why won't you just say, meet me at the Chase Bank? Because if you say, meet me at the Chase Bank, that's just too easy, right? That's just way too easy. You gotta be confusing, and you gotta make me wonder, where is this, how do I get there, on and on and on. Yeah, let's go pick up this order real fast picked up this box now I'm about to drive it two miles away it's not far not far just got to get back downstairs because a minute ago I was running from the meter maid and it doesn't take them very long to walk around the block you know so I need to get back downstairs so I won't get a ticket just meet me at the Chase Bank pool finish that task grab a gig and sometimes I wonder what's in the box what's in the box what's in this box that I'm delivering a little bit later now I've already ditched the car no more deliveries for now it's time to skate feels like I haven't skated in the daytime in forever yo that's cruise
you guys know what time it is it's charge time well i don't exactly need a full charge but i'll just get like one little dot enough to get me back to market street it's a little bit later now i've just been out skating and charging and skating and charging and i have about i don't have that much i have what about uh i got a blinking light i don't have that much range left so i just jumped on this charlie i'm gonna go up the hill just a little bit jump out and ride and i'm gonna go grab thai food then i'm gonna come back down to we work and work on a couple of things and that's gonna be what i'm gonna do for today <laughs> no thai food for me I forgot it's Thanksgiving Eve, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of restaurants that are closed right now. I cross my fingers that I can get Mediterranean. For the past couple hours, I've been here working on the computer. Now I've been learning about cryptocurrency quite a bit because I see there's a lot of potential in cryptocurrency. But the hardest part about cryptocurrency is is explaining cryptocurrency and talking about cryptocurrency and. That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out now. I'm trying to figure out like the most simplest way to explain this. But then now I'm getting so excited because I'm learning so much about cryptocurrency. Pretty much right now I'm figuring out how to exchange cryptocurrency from one platform to another platform. And it's really, really cool how it works. So much better than a bank when you want to transfer money from one bank account to another bank account like a chase bank account to a paypal bank account and it takes three days but here it doesn't take three days it takes like i don't know a couple minutes and the money's from this account and it's in this account and you can purchase other altcoins and I, i'm having a blast with this i'm having a blast with this whole cryptocurrency as of now i own um bitcoin litecoin ethereum Swarm City tokens and Ripple. Ripple is one that a lot of people are talking about and it's it's trading for less than 25 cents right now. It's one of those that, you know, it bobs and weaves. There's so much movement in cryptocurrency pricing. You know, one day Bitcoin's up 10%. The next day it's down 5%. The next day it's up 10%. The next day it's down 5%. You know, it just fluctuates and, and, and it's just all cryptocurrencies. They, they kind of have this whole reputation of they move and they bob and weave. And if you're a trader, you can make some serious money off a 20% price increase in one day. Versus if you were, you know, trying to trade Apple shares or Tesla shares or you know, GoPro shares, you know, those stock prices are not really moving 10% up a day. They're not having those crazy swings, but cryptocurrency, you can, oh man, I'm, I'm just, I'm not talking too much about cryptocurrencies right now. I'm just getting deep into it. And it's the more and more I learn about it, the more and more fun I'm having. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow is learning more and more about cryptocurrencies because this is like super awesome. Yo, this is like super cool. I'm still out here. It's like 2 a.m. And uh, it's Thanksgiving Eve. The city is dead right now. It is crazy dead. There's there's somebody out on the scoop. There's like no one around. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Look at these streets. <laughs> yeah, let's go head up the financial district. <laughs> I would imagine the financial district would be extremely dead right now. Wait, did I just say financial district? San Francisco ain't got no financial district. <laughs>
I'm already digging Thanksgiving because I know tomorrow is going to be completely dead and I, parking won't be a problem at all, y'all. Parking will definitely not be a problem. Look at this. It's like skate heaven right now, man. There's like no one around. There's no one on the streets. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's super late, but I, I don't know. I, on a normal night, there's still people out, you know? There's still cars on the road, but just not tonight. Awesome.